hello everyone so today i'm gonna work on in the save load system how to save and restore the current uh, currently equipped weapons so here you can see my character is now we are in a wound helmet and the fencer sword and these shoes so let me equip some collect some more items and go here now i'll switch to uh, this sword glimmer and then to the other helmet the one without horns and also I switch to this uh, piece of leg armor right now if I save the game again you can see game saved appeared here and it stopped now when I play the game now I have those uh, that weapon configuration I had before uh, the this new uh, leg armors and the helmet uh, the non horned helmet so yeah we didn't had the have this option before now we are going to implement it today so my current gear will be saved and restored and before we get started uh, let me remind you that this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system series so you can watch all these episodes in this playlist i'll link the i'll link the full playlist in the description below and also this is a part of this action R uh, also you can download project files of this project and all other thousands of projects i have done from my patreon page i'll leave the link in description as well okay now let's get back to today's tutorial all right so the first issue that i want to tackle is this so here when i start the game my game is loaded all the equipments are loaded from the load game function that we worked on but if i go to the inventory i do not see any of these items here so that's the first issue i want to solve with this seven load system now the reason that happens the the reason that happens uh, the reason for that is here I go to browse character and open my base character this is how I load character data and first thing is I should not use this give ability and activate once uh, but this is not directly related to not appearing in the inventory but this is relevant when uh, to something else here i should use this q ability and then activate try activate ability This is also needed otherwise when i try to save the game again the collected uh, the loaded abilities will not be uh, there when i want to save the game so now that's one and also when i collect let me show collect item logic here when i collect items Collectible. Right. for each loop i call this collect item so here i call this function add to character inventory for each uh, collectible ability i need to do that here as well so i'll do it here 
add to character tree and pass the collectible class. Now, when I load the game, here we have the items. Now, if I go here, you can see my items are there. All other item types as well. Okay, okay. Now, the next step is here. When I yeah, uh, this again, and now if I go here. I have these different sword types. This is Claimer. Let me equip Pencil. And also, let me change to uh, these both. The one with covers. Alright, now I'm here. And if I save the game again, here, character saved, you can see now if the system loads correctly i should have these weapons these uh, gear applied to the character already but here yeah, that's not happening so why is it not happening by the way the inventory is there all the items are there but it just uh, my system can't identify what are the items that is currently applied to the character all right now how do we deal with that so for that um, when i save the game i need to make sure uh, i save so here let me show you again here you can see g a Now let me save again and stop and load. Mm -hmm. Don't see the text. All oh, right, that's because I only print these. Okay. Yeah. Now you see we have this collect gauntlet collect chest armor collect pencil so we have all the collect abilities saved and when we load we apply the, we apply all of them so that's the problem here and if i show you the save point here also we are not doing any dis uh discrimin dis we are not doing anything to distinguish what are the currently applied weapons and what are the weapons that we are we have in the inventory but not applied to the character okay so how do we deal with this so one way would be when i apply a different weapon first i need i have this function where i destroy the current weapon let me see if i can find it here destroy items so here when we want to equip a new item i call this destroy item through this macro so basically what i do is i only remove active effects with granted tags but I don't uh, do any clear ability. So if I clear a collect ability for the destroyed weapon, then when I save the game, it will not be saved because it will not be listed uh, when I get all abilities from the ability component in order to save so how do we do this because we only have the weapon tag right now so i need a way to um, clear uh, clear this ability but how 
All right, let's create a function for that. This is a weapon reference. Well, it's actually an actor reference. Let me just add a readout node here and start a function. Collapse to function. Clear. Collect. Ability. Clear. Associated. Now oh, let's just say item collect ability. Okay, that should be clear right now. Now how do we do that? Let's implement it here. I'll change this to item. Right, from this I can get weapon tag. Would be better if this was item tag, but this is the name I have. And then I can get all abilities. Okay, now here we have a tag, and here we have uh, gameplay ability spec, spec handles <laughs> all right now let's run a forage loop for this and from this now i can access individual uh, ability specs and from this i can uh, get Get gameplay ability from gameplay ability spec handler. Here also we need to give a reference. We also need ability system component. Okay. Now here this is the ability object. From this I can get class and if I can cast this to collect sort class that means this is a collectible ability right now from this i can get defaults get class defaults here i have a collectible actor class and from this i can again get defaults and here we have item tag Okay, now that means if item tag, if this item tag is equal to the item tag of this weapon that I have here, okay, now if that is the case, that means if this is true that means this ability spec handle is the so is the spec handle that represent the collect ability associated with this weapon so if i can just now i can just uh, clear this from the ability system component clear ability with this okay all right now now this will be removed from the ability system component that means when i save next time only the currently equipped items will be saved with the character but that means uh, we will not have all the items in the inventory but we will have to sit next so right now here you can see i have the sword and shield and if i go here and switch to this fencer and then 
just for testing i switch to this they look ugly this shows the one with covers and with this horn helmet okay now this is my current gear right now let me save again with home button character saved and stop and play again right now you see i have all the items except the sword why didn't sword change see or fencer i have the tag take the tag yeah. i do have the tag so why it didn't work just for the weapon let's check again just to fencer okay and save okay character saved stop load again oh it's working okay okay maybe i just mixed up something so yeah it is working i have this weapon all right but the problem is here now i only have this fencer i don't have other weapons for some reason and uh, actually the reason is we cleared those abilities that are not associated with currently equipped items on the character so we need to separately save those uh, stuff in the inventory and load them so to do that how do we do that where do we save well Let's go to the load. Okay, add to character inventory. Mm -hmm. Let's find the definition. Yeah. So get controller, get player state. Okay, that's in the player state. Alright. So um Shall we have a different save function for player state? Yeah, okay, mode. This is the player state that I am using. If you're not sure, you can find it here. Window world settings and player state. Okay right now here okay we need to separately save and load these items in this play state but i think it would be better if i leave this part for the next episode so thanks for watching as always i will upload the updated project files into my patreon page and don't forget to like and subscribe uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.